Alright, so what is up guys? This is Cosmic 43 Gaming here, and today I'm going to be doing a different type of video for you guys. Uh, this isn't something that I normally do, but I thought it would be fun to do. Uh, today, I'm going to be reviewing a movie uh, based around the rake. No, not not that kind of rake. Get, get that out of here. This is the kind of rake that I'm talking about. Yeah, you all know him. I'm going to be reviewing three movies based around the rake, but uh, today we're just going to be reviewing the first one. Uh, the first movie, film, thing, whatever you want to call it, the first one we're going to be reviewing is called The Rake Found Footage Horror Film. Uh, this is a film made by uh, Enter Viral. Uh, I'll leave a link down in the description below to this film if you guys want to check it out for yourself after I review this. And um, if Viral Film happens to see this video, um, I'm not monetizing this and I'm not taking any any rights or you know I'm not gonna say that this is all mine um, you know all credit goes to enter viral and their film I just thought I'd, that I would uh, review this uh, for a, you know like a, a funny video kind of well not really funny but you know you, you guys know what I mean so um, without further ado let's go ahead and get straight into the review on the movie film thing whatever you want to call it The movie starts off with a dialogue uh, explaining to the viewers that this film was taken in 2010 as three high school graduates went on the trip in the forest of Washington and were never heard from again. The camera was later found by mine excavators and the footage was recovered. And it just goes on to say that, you know, that this is uncut footage and uh, it's a, uh, you know, it's a memorial for the uh, characters of the movie that uh, died due to the rake. We start off here in a car as our main protagonist films them going down the road, and we get a, uh, a nice decent amount of uh, ear rape through some great music. Turn it down, turn it down, turn it down, turn it down. How am I supposed to let people know who the heck we are? I couldn't tell you, man. I couldn't tell you. So I'm just going to let our protagonist here tell you guys the Eric. names of these people. His name's Eric. Okay, I'll leave it at that. All right? Are you going to state your name, or are you going to do the same thing as him? His name's Logan, okay? So our protagonist tells us what their plan is while they're doing out here. That we were going to go into the woods. Now, I'm not just talking like little petty forest woods. I'm talking about hardcore woods, like 750 acre mountain woods. You know what I'm talking about? I'm just putting this out there. The only kind of mountain that I know is this kind. Yeah, I live around here. With no communication to the outside world. Okay, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. First off, what kind of bright idea is that? Going out into the woods without any kind of communication? That's asking for death. Out there for a whole month with no communication. So pretty much what they're doing is they're heading down to stores and whatnot so they can get camping supplies so they can be out in the woods for a month for whatever reason. And we finally get our main character's name. Never even said my name. Wow. I'm Ken, Kenny, Kenneth, Kennethy, Kennedy, whatever you want to call me, Collins. Dr. Collins, because I'm definitely going to get my doctorate's degree. Good for you, Dr. Collins. I really hope that succeeds for you. And if you see cuts during the video, or if it looks like, uh, you know, like uh, I'm trying to like look at the time or whatever, or if just the YouTube thing comes up in general, there are ads on this film, so I had to cut them out and sync them back up with the actual, you know, video. So... If you see cuts and it looks like uh, I'm like looking at YouTube or whatever, uh, that's why, because there are ads on this video. He's kind of a baby. Whenever you want to play, what? even a PG-13 little stupid kids horror movie, he goes running home crying. Are you talking about me? No, I'm talking about Andrew. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention, there is a character that we don't ever see in the movie. His name is Andrew, and um, he plays a big part in the story, I maybe, I don't know, but... There's a guy named Andrew, and we don't see him in the movie, as far as I can remember. So they talk about it, their camera that they're using, and their focus, and autofocus, and it goes on for a little bit, but yeah, we get a whole segment about cameras for whatever reason before we actually get into the store. Once we're actually in the store, they go looking around for camping gear that they're going to need for their amazing trip out in the forest for a month. Oh, and there's a segment here that just... I'll, I'll let you figure out the uh, the resemblance here. Are you filming? Yes, I'm filming. Of course I'm filming. All right, so I'm always filming. Aren't I always filming? I don't know. To me, that just sounds a whole lot like me Jargonuggets. If, if, you, if you get the joke, then good on you. There's 
That's not pictures or video if you're. No, I'm just holding right. it around. Just holding it. I think I got it on video where the guy told me I couldn't film in there. There's tons of people to film and in the grocery store. We didn't even store. find what we were looking for. No, we're going to go to the Dollar Tree because they have good prices. This place well, does not have good prices. Just gonna... Maybe that's because it's called the Dollar Tree and everything there is only a dollar. All right, so they go shopping around in Dollar Tree and, you know, they get various things that they're going to need for their trip. And uh, I'm just going to skip to the part where they actually get to the forest because it's mostly just shopping here that you get to see. And lo and behold, we finally make it to the forest, and it's mostly just, you know, a couple minutes of them walking around in the forest, and uh, a certain point in the movie, uh, our main character here tells the story of the rake, essentially, in the woods that they're in. You want to hear a uh, freaky story about these woods? No. Well, I'm going to tell you anyway. Hold on, I thought you never heard any stories about Well, I didn't hear it directly. Actually, my, my great... My grandpa used to log in here with his buddies, and, well, it'll make it interesting. He used to log in here with his buddies, and he told my dad a story about what one of his buddies saw uh, one of the times when they're out here. So they're on the western side of the mountain, and this is back in, I think, 72 or 73, and it was spring, I think, like, like May or June, late spring, and they're out here logging, and it was an overnight haul. They used to do that all the time. They'd stay out here. They used to do most of it by hand. They're out here at night, and one of his buddies, he says he hears this screech outside. And it sounds like, like, like a, it's not like a woman, like, screeching or yelling in pain or anything, but it's yeah, like, but it's like a wolf, like, yeah, well, no, not like a wolf, but like a dog, or, they didn't, they didn't hurt anything before. Anyway, he says one of his buddies goes outside, and there's this thing down on the, down near the cooler, where they're keeping their hot dogs, hamburgers and stuff for the, for the dinner they just had. A couple hours back, they roast them on the fire. He sees this thing, this like naked man with a large head ripping open the cooler. What? What? Yeah, it's like in the cooler, just tearing it apart, like eating well, did, stuff did, in there. Did they leave or anything? No, the guy pulled out his 22 and shot at the thing and it ran off. They uh, got up the next day and they went straight back into town. Uh, the guy said this thing had sharp teeth and this thing just, just looked at him and just uttered this cry that just scared the hell out of him, is what they said. And I don't know though, it could just be something my grandpa was telling my dad when he was a kid. That's basically the backstory of the rake summed up into one story. It's a naked dog-like creature that tore into somebody's uh, cooler and ate all their shit and uh, screamed at them. That, yeah, that, that, that's totally the rake. We finally reach nighttime and they uh, decide to set their camp up and they get their tents up and all that good jazz and it's... It's a couple of minutes of just them preparing everything for, for their their night out here in the forest. Well, I don't know. It's probably just like some the shutter thing. It doesn't let it in very well. Hey, let me see. No, this is not a bug. This is not a defect in the movie. This is a part of the film. That it just, it just goes off for, I want to say, like two minutes. At best, just the film's just gone. Once the film does come back on, it's uh, it's daytime, so I'm just gonna assume that they turned off the camera and uh, it, they slept through most of the night. Hey, Eric. What? Wake up! It's 6 a.m. We gotta go. Where are we going? Did you hear Logan get out earlier? Where is he? They realize that their friend Logan is missing. Come on. Get up. We gotta get up. Always the last one to get up. Logan's not usually early to get up, though. Logan? Just gotta say, I give major props to the director of this film for taking the acting so serious, because he legitimately screams during a part of the movie. He actually screams for his friend Logan. Okay, so we've been up for about 10 minutes. Logan! This is the part of the movie that I'm talking about where he screams for Logan. It's... Logan! I genuinely think that it's like really early in the morning. They, they're out there in the forest and he's actually screaming for his friend Logan. So, you know, props to the director for that, but we'll, we'll continue on with the movie. Like go on walks in the morning or something? 
Logan! You weren't awake, now you are. That, uh, again, amazing acting from our director here for you screaming. Logan? Yeah, see, I don't want to burst your bubble there, buddy, but I don't think that's Logan. I, I just want to say that that's the rake. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just guessing over here. Do you hear him? Oh, yeah, no, don't worry. I, I definitely hear him. You, you don't need to ask me. You know, listening to the director yell for Logan, it genuinely makes me think, like, you know, oh, this guy's actually lost, and they're genuinely trying to find him, but they just somehow put it into the story, like... The acting in this film is spot on. So after sitting through with what felt like an eternity's um, footage, we come to a part of the film where they find Logan's notebook. And Logan's pretty much describing his experience with the rake when he was a little kid. I went through his stuff. Well, what does it say? Read you think it. I should read it? Yeah. It's date. This one's dated last week. God. His parents got divorced? I saw the creature again. I, I feel started when I was three years old. At night, he would come to my bed. I could feel him breathing on my throat. He told me his name was the rake. What's the rake? What the hell's the rake? It's like a gardening tool, isn't it? No, it's totally not a gardening tool. A, no, he wrote like a rake it. He, for leaves, like a raking. No, leaves? he wrote it in here like what? he lets like a. He says, the creature came to my bed again. Dude, this is wrong. We're like reading through his stuff. I don't. This is. I just want to see if there's anything in here that, if he came out here for a reason and you just Come ran on, off. Let's go look for him. He comes to me at night and yells in my ear. He is the rake. What? What? What's the rake? I don't know. It's probably just some stupid book he was. A poetry. <laughs> So after learning that Logan experienced his uh, encounter with the rake when he was three years old, you know, it, it just makes me think that, you know, what happened to him after he, uh, he came in contact with the rake this time, but, you know, we don't get to find out. Alright, I'm gonna play this, and I'm gonna just, I want you guys to tell me if you see what I see. If you don't, I'll explain it to you. We haven't heard any sounds for a couple hours now. Here, what? Toss me a... Uh... Let's just think about putting the tent up, alright? Just get him off our minds. Alright, set up for tonight and we'll see how it goes, just you and I. Here, we'll do that one first. Let's keep pushing it. Alright. Now, if you guys didn't catch it, I want you to go back and um, look at the uh, look at the tree right uh, right here. I want you to tell me what you see. And uh, if you didn't see it, it, it was basically the rake. It's like a thing that they did in Marble Hornets, kind of, where they had Slender in the background and uh, kind of disappeared after a little bit. So uh, yeah. So after they set up camp, they discuss on what they're going to be doing about Logan, and I think we both know that he's not coming back anytime soon. Night falls upon them, and uh, they hear something outside. Eric! Eric! Wake up! What, what, what? See that? What is that? Looks like something's pushing on the tent. Logan? Logan? Oh, Logan? Is that you? Logan! God, it's freaking pitch black out there. I think this camera helps. Night vision. Come on, let's go out there. I think that was Logan. This has night vision. Logan! So they both go outside to figure out what that was that was banging on the tent. And uh, there's a part in here that I'm going to be comparing to a video on YouTube, and I want you guys to tell me if this part of the film was inspired by said video. Logan? Hey, come on.
Logan? And now here's the video from YouTube. Tia, I don't know. I just feel like that, uh, you know, uh, that interviral got the idea from this uh, video on YouTube to have the rake look up at them, kind of like how it did in the YouTube video. But uh, regardless, whatever way it was, I personally like the scene. But uh, let's get back to the movie, shall we? So it's daytime now after last night's incident. And uh, he, our director here is pretty much just telling us, uh, you know, what happened the other night and uh, that... They survived the encounter with the rake, and, um, yeah. We find Logan yet? No, we just gotta get out of here. If Logan is anywhere, he's either back, or he's, he's dead. We just have to go. I love how concerned Kenny and Eric were when, uh, you know, when Logan first went missing or whatever. It's just like, we really need to find him. Now they're just like, he's probably somewhere back in town, or he's dead. Either way, we gotta get out of here, so... You know, they uh, they don't care too much about Logan anymore, but, you know, that's how we progress the story. Hill, we have to just keep moving towards that mine shaft. I'm pretty sure the mine shaft has a road that leads up to it once we get there. What's that, the mine shaft again? They're, they're old. I remember my grandpa said that he worked there. My dad told me my grandpa worked there when it was before he did the logging, and it was in the same woods, and I know it was on this side of the mountain, and we're pretty close to the top of the mountain right now. So I almost know for a fact that I almost know for a fact that we're uh, near those mine shafts. I mean, we have to be close to the mine shafts if we're on the side of the mountain. See, I feel like he mentioned the mine shaft and all that stuff because the camera was found by mine excavators. So, I don't know, I have a feeling that he mentioned the mine shaft part to kind of signify that, you know, like the camera would later be found uh, in the... At a mine place, a mine shaft, or a mine area, or whatever, but, you know. Totally, you know, independent out here. Shh, do you hear that? Shh. Get down. Get down. Get down. That sounded like that thing last night. Let's keep moving. Slowly. Hearing the rake in most parts, I, like, it just gives you suspense, kind of, that, like, oh, he's near, they better be careful or else he's, they're gonna get caught, but, like, they're not very quiet and they're walking around a whole bunch, they're breaking stuff, so, yeah, I'm surprised that they didn't get caught, honestly. I think that thing's out there again. I'm gonna go see what it is. Keep your knife, keep your knife ready. Okay. Just check if there's anything out here, then come back in. You see anything out there? No. Just get no. back in here. I think we're fine. Where should I come back in here? Oh, 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 you just oh, and with that, Eric is out of the picture, and I gotta say, that wasn't very anticlimactic. Well, actually, no, that was very anticlimactic. It's Go outside, go check, come back in, get dragged, and Eric's dead along with Logan. So, our last person is Kenny, and uh, the the movie plays out interestingly. So I'll I'll just shut up now. I need to wait in the morning. I need to go. I need to go.
Eric. Eric. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till the morning. I've been sitting here for two hours. Wait, 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 wait. Come up. It's about 5.30 a.m. I think I found a ridge. I think I found a ridge and a field. I found a field. This is where the mines are. The mines are up here. I'm just gonna stay here. I'm gonna be quiet. I'm gonna wait until I don't hear anything. This is uh, a part of the film. I didn't edit this in, but it's just saying that it cuts out for 33 minutes, so I'll shut up here. Hello? Hello? Oh my god, what the heck? Oh my god! What the And, um, th that, that's, that's it. We just get chased and, uh, and then we get killed by a, a, a pig. Um, mm. Okay, analysis time. Well guys, that was my review of The Rake, the horror found footage film. What did I think of it? I genuinely thought that it was a good movie, film, whatever you want to call it. I, I, I really did think it was good. I'll admit there were some parts of the movie that were kind of dragged out and just weren't necessary. Um, most, there, there was a part in the movie where um, Keith and, well, Kenny and uh, Eric are sitting down and discussing about Logan. They're just sitting in the woods after they first heard the rake. And um, that part was way too dragged out, but... In all honesty, I enjoyed the movie. Um, I would suggest you guys go watch it. Links in the description down below, like I said earlier. But um, I like the movie. I did. It, I'm just going to call it a movie, whatever. It's easier for me. But I liked it. Um, I would suggest you guys go watch it. Um, and this has been part one of our three-part series of me reviewing movies based around the rake or, or about the rake. Uh, we have two other movies, uh, one of them is called The Raking, and one of them is just called The Rake. So, um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this different type of video, uh, and you guys want to see more, then please be sure to go ahead and smash the like button down below, comment, like, and subscribe, turn on post notifications so you will never miss another upload like this. Uh, Enter Viral has a slender movie as well. So if you guys enjoy the Rake series, uh, once I'm done with it and you guys want me to review Slender stuff, I will gladly do that. But um, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Uh, go follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, and Snapchat. Links are going to be in the description down below as well as my Patreon. Go support that. And um, with that being said, my name is Cosmo43Gaming, and I am out.